Happiness keep you sweet. Trials keep you strong. Sorrows keep you human. Failures keep you humble. But God keeps you going. Welcome back. I'm Carissa and this is Carissa's Confirming Corner. And today we're going to talk about how it takes a village to grow in salvation. Yes, we're all familiar with the phrase, it takes a village to raise a child. But it also takes a village to grow in salvation. No one was born saved. In fact, we were all born to sin. Often people are turned away from God because they feel like being saved is too hard. Or it's something they can't live up to. When in actuality, we, everything we go through builds us in Christ. Every trial, every circumstance, every blessing help build us in Christ. Today we're going to focus on three aspects. Blessings, thorns, and mistakes. Now as far as blessings, you must be able to patiently wait for them. Ask God to bless you to recognize them when he answers your prayers. And to embrace them. Now many think that once you're saved, everything is good. Actually, the Bible tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous. However, God will deliver us from them all. But we must patiently wait on them. God will answer your prayers, but it be according to His will and in His timing. Philippians 4, 6-7 through 7 tells us to be careful or anxious for nothing, but in everything through prayer and supplication through th and thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. And he will give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. And will keep your minds and hearts stayed through Christ Jesus. We must patiently wait on him. Now, when he answers our prayers, we must also ask him to bless us to recognize it when he does. We often think that he's going to answer our prayers according to how we ask them. We ask for a financial blessing, so we expect it a windfall of money to come through. However, he may bless someone to answer our prayers for us. Or he may enable us to answer our prayers ourselves. We must ask God to let us recognize when he answers them. Also, we must embrace it. Often, we can't enjoy our blessing because we're waiting for the other shoe to drop. We're already looking for something bad to happen. We need to appreciate what God does for us. And to only seek Him for help. For every good and perfect thing comes from above. Next, we must appreciate the thorns. Philippians 4 and 11 tells us that whatever state we're in, we should be content. Roses have thorns to ward off animals that are attracted to their smell. Without the thorns, they will be devoured. So, their beauty is not their strength, it's their thorns. We are God's roses. And he allows us to have thorns to ward off the enemy, even ourselves. 2 Corinthians 12, 7-9 tells us that without the thorn, we'll be exalted above measure. And that God's strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. God allows our thorns, or inhibitions, or things that make us uncomfortable, or situations or trials that we don't appreciate or do not want, he allows them so that we won't get exalted higher than we should. Often, things could go so good and so well that we think that we did it ourselves. When in actuality, it was God. He allows the thorns for us to realize and to remember that we are here because of Him and not because of us. And that His strength is made perfect in our weakness. So we need to learn to appreciate the thorns and to appreciate God for always being there. For it's His strength that perfects our weaknesses. Next, we must learn from our mistakes. The mistakes are the only thing that we own. Job 19 and 4 tells us that our errors remain with us. We must learn from our mistakes and repent of our sins and try our best not to do them again. However, we must not have an holier than thou attitude and set the bar so high that people feel like it can't be attained. We must be approachable. That's the only way we can win souls. 
Our faults and our errors are our testimonies. They could be a witness to someone else. For what almost killed us can save someone else. In conclusion, I challenge you to appreciate every aspect of life. Our blessings increases our faith and deepens our love for God. Our thorns increases our strength and keeps us humble. Our mistakes keeps us grounded and makes us relatable. Everything plays a part. We must also realize that every season is not a harvest. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 tells us there's a time for everything. However, we must give thanks in each time frame and appreciate what God is doing and the process. God knows what's best for us and he has what's best in mind. We must thank him for it. For every beautiful pottery had to go through the fire. Thank you for tuning in. I trust that this was a blessing to you. Please click share below and tell someone. Visit my website, Carissa's Confirming Corner. And please remember that when you're down to nothing, God is up to something. For those of you that are going through, we want to encourage you. Your trials don't come to tear you down. They come to make you strong. Floating on the sea of trouble. Sorrow falling like rain from the sky Trotting through life's murky waters Trials form the tears in your eyes Don't